going to be hard to talk about today's thoughts without sounding like a crazy person. This has always been a personal experiment of mine, a way to document my own thoughts, my process, my spiritual journey. It's personal. Um, if I can help anybody out along the way, that's wonderful. The reason is, is that I want for other people to realize that they're not alone. And I've said that many times before. You know, it, it becomes a challenge. We feel isolated. We feel alone in our connection to the Asir and to the ancestral paths that we are finding ourselves on. And it can be extremely isolating sometimes. And I've had so many people message me in the, the past few weeks telling me that my videos have helped. And that is why I would like to continue to make content. Today I really want to discuss why. Why do we do this to ourselves? Why do we feel this need? What is this void that we are hoping to fill? Why do millions of people around the world search out a faith system? Not just paganism, but the Abrahamic faiths and Taoism and Buddhism and other spiritualities. Why do we have this need, this hunger? What is this void? Why do I personally search for the gods? And... I've always felt that connection. I think that we're born with that innate desire that we are both physical and spiritual beings at birth. And that from the moment that we're born, we are seeking, we are searching for that spiritual path. Maybe we're even more connected to it than we are whenever the physical world starts predominating our thoughts and our day-to-day -day activities. I have witnessed a very few, but I have witnessed miracles as I thought them at the time, certain things that could be explained by science, certain coincidences that were more than just happen chance. And whenever I would encounter these things, it would only strengthen my faith, my previous faith in Christianity, but now my faith in the spiritual realm, that there is indeed something out there. We just have to find it. We have to call out to it. We have to search for it. When I was about 13... I was in downtown Fort Worth with my mother, and I had witnessed there was a homeless man there on the corner. And for some reason, I felt compelled. I had about $20 in my pocket that I had saved up that I was going to do something with, and I felt compelled to give this man my cash. And I, my mom said it was okay, so I jumped out of the car and I ran and I gave him my money. And I came back into the car, or when, whenever I gave him the money, and I, he looked me in the eye, and he thanked me by my name. I'd never seen this man before. He didn't hear my mom talk to me. He didn't know what was going on, but he thanked me by my name. And I got back to the car, and it, it, I was just stunned. I couldn't believe what had just happened. And it took me a little bit to even come to grasp with what had just occurred. At the time, I believed it to be an angel. Because, of course, the Christian indoctrination. But in the following years, I've also had certain dreams to come true. Uh, I dreamt of the death of a family member, only to have it happen about 24 hours later. Now, the problem is, is that how do you tell people these kind of things without trying to sound like you're trying to glorify yourself, right? Right? We encounter this day-to-day, -day, especially in paganism, unfortunately. We have people who will fake spiritual gifts in order to seem more important. And that's not what I'm trying to do here. I really think that what happened to me was something that can happen to anybody. Uh, and maybe, maybe it was just me not paying attention. I'm not willing to discredit what I encountered. But the dreams that I've had, I had uh, two dreams that I encountered the death of a family member and then some other stuff that had happened in my family. And at these dreams coming true and realizing, wow, this is what actually happened, it only strengthens that resolve and that thirst, that thirst for knowledge and that strength to get that, that quest to get closer to the Asir. Like I said, this is such a personal personal relationship that we have and everything that I'm doing here I'm sharing lots of tidbits and lots of personal history and uh, 
spiritual encounters with a bunch of strangers on the internet. And so far it's been very well received. I think that we are all born with this desire, that desire to, to search out and to rise above the mundane. We know that there's more to this world around us than what we're seeing. We're told to work a nine to five. We're told to buy this. We're told to go here. We're told this is how you vacation. This is what the ideal family looks like. And our generation is collectively disagreeing. And it's fantastic. I really feel like the resurgence of the old ways, our ancestral connection, has brought us closer to one another and closer to the world that we live in. We are seeing, for the first time in hundreds of years, a rise in paganism, a rise in the old faith. Like the old gods are staring. Now, did they go away? Or were they just asleep? Or are we just too blinded by the physical world that's projected towards us to recognize the signs for what they are? Anyways, I want to hear your personal spiritual encounters. Um, what have you seen? What have you noticed out there? I know other people have noticed things too. I've, I've heard so many wonderful stories about dreams of Odin, the same kind of dreams I've had. And I've seen so many people talk about their encounters with, with the Asir or with the land spirits. And I want to hear what you saw. What did you see that makes you just know or just want to pursue further? All right. Anyways, I look forward to reading these comments and to seeing what you guys have noticed and witnessed. And uh, as always, I look forward to making the next video. Let me know. Uh, this weekend, I'm going to the Texas Viking Festival. So I'll be making a video there with a couple of my friends. And uh, just let me know what you like to see. And I'll talk to you guys later.